Phone Systems Contact Center allows you to create contacts for every person in your organization. Contact may hold various types of call destinations that are called contact methods. The contact methods can be added to ring group and queue objects on your workspace, which reflects your incoming call flow configuration. For the purpose of this video, we will create a new contact that contains a SIP account. It will be used as the main contact method to forward the calls to. Click Settings, Contact Center, Add a new contact, fill in the contact's first and last name. Continue by adding a new contact method for the contact. Click Add a new contact method, SIP account. The default SIP account settings are suitable for most incoming call configurations. Select a preferred label and click Save. Your new SIP credentials will be displayed in the SIP Details section. After reviewing the SIP credentials, click Finish. The contact and the SIP account contact method are now saved and ready to be added to Ring Group and Queue Objects. The next step is adding this SIP account to the call flow configuration. To do so, create a new Ring Group. Click Plus to open Object Menu. Drag and drop Ring Group Object. Enter a name for this Ring Group and click Add Ring Destination. Select the newly created SIP account that is displayed next to the contact and click Save. Connect your previously created phone number object with Ring Group. The SIP account can now be registered on a SIP compatible device using the SIP credentials available in Edit SIP Account form. Please note that phone system SIP accounts are compatible with any SIP devices, including IP phones, soft phones, or other types of devices. Watch our next video to learn how to enable outgoing calls by configuring outbound trunks in phone systems. Phone systems. Made simple. New features and improvements are constantly being added to phone systems. To stay up to date with phone systems, be sure to subscribe to our channel.